Good morning. morning. Welcome to our Mass. Today we're on the St. Padre Pio. He was always doing good and kind things to help others because he loved and followed Jesus. He received the same wounds Jesus had in his hands, feet, and later on his side. His long life was filled with constant suffering and penance. Even when things are difficult, try to be like Jesus and love others and do good and kind things even when it is hard to do. Please stand and join our opening song. Good morning, Sacred Heart. As we gather together in prayer, we gather together knowing that Christ is with us. As we gather, as we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today, Sacred Heart, as we gather together to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind all of our sins because we know that God forgives us and enters into our hearts. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts, Lord of mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. mercy. And the Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest St. Pius a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed, appointed time for everything and a time for everything under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to approve the plant. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to a, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What advantage has the work from his toil? I have considered the task that God has appointed for the sons of men to be busied about. <clears throat> he has made everything appropriate to its time and put the time and has put the timeless into their hearts. Without man's ever discovery, from beginning to end, the work which God has done, the word of the Lord. Be to God. Please respond, Blessed be, Lord, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my lover, my shield, and whom I trust. Lord, what is man that you notice him, the son of man that you take thought of him? Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. Blessed be the Lord's Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elisha, still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, but, but who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord. Jesus Christ. How many of you like birthday parties? You love birthday parties? Me too. I think they're so great. So great. Um, what's the best part about, the, about a birthday party, though? What's the best part about a birthday party? What's the best part about a birthday party? Hmm. 
What's the best part about a birthday party? You eat cake. Cake. Mmm. What's the best kind of cake? What's the best kind of cake? What's the best kind of cake? Strawberry cake? Mmm, that's good. What's the best kind of cake, too? Pumpkin cake? Ooh. <laughs> right to my heart. Right to my heart. Uh, what's the best kind of cake? Oh, gosh. What's the best kind of cake? Vanilla. Vanilla? Mm mm mm. What's the best kind of cake? Pumpkin cake? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm slowly influencing all these kids. Uh, <laughs> pumpkin. What's the best kind of cake? Strawberry shortcake? Marble? Red velvet? Red velvet? Ooh, red velvet. Cheesecake? Mm. Something with no frosting. Something with no frosting. You're, you're not a frosting guy. That's okay. What? Yeah. Carrot cake? Cookie cake? Or sorry? Cookie cake. A cookie cake. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cupcake? Oh, yeah, you guys. Or what? Jello cake. Chocolate cake. Mmm. So, we have cake that's great about parties, right? We love the cake. What else is great about parties? Birthday parties, birthday parties. What's so great about birthday parties? Opening presents. That is, those are the, those are the two things that come to my mind. What else is great about a birthday party? What else is great about a birthday party? Ice cream. Do you have ice cream with your cake? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so you have ice cream, you have, you have the cake, you have the presents. What else is great about a birthday party? What else is great about a birthday party? Balloons, balloons. Um, so you have the decorations, we have the food, we have the gifts. What else is there about a birthday party? What else is there, what's so great about a birthday party? The frosting on top of the cake. Yeah. What else? Kids have fun. So sometimes you invite your friends over, right? Um, so all this sort of stuff is great about a birthday party. Um, well, I had a birthday party once. Surprise, father had a birthday. I have birthdays just as you do. Um, and, and I think the best part about a birthday party is not only the friends, but the cake. Um, now, Surprise when it comes to birthday cakes, I'm more of a vanilla kind of guy, um, rather than a, rather than, I've never had a, I don't think I've ever had a pumpkin cake before. Um, but if they did, I'm sure, sure I'll get one this year. Um, uh, anyways, uh, my mom, my mom, she baked this cake for me, right? She was bringing the cake out and she tripped. What do you think happened to the cake? 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 Yeah. Um, it, fell it fell over? It didn't. Surprise, it's a miracle. The cake landed up straight and didn't tip over and was good to eat. It was a miracle, right? It was a miracle. It was a birthday miracle. The cake was saved. The party was saved. Um, and you know, that was probably one of the greatest miracles that ever happened to me in my own life. Um, uh, somehow my mom came through. And you know, Jesus also does miracles, right, too? He didn't, he didn't save a birthday cake. Um, who knows, maybe that wasn't written down. But, uh, but anyways, what are some of the miracles Jesus did? Do you know a miracle that Jesus did? What is a miracle that Jesus did? He healed people that were sick, so he was a doctor, right? He was a doctor. What else, what, what other miracle did Jesus do? Do you know another miracle that Jesus did? He told people about God, so he was constantly preaching. So he was like a teacher, right? Yeah. Do you know what else? He did what? He made blind people see. So he healed people, right? So he's, he's, a, he's a doctor, so he's a teacher. Uh, what else, what other miracles did Jesus do? Um, do you know what other miracles Jesus did? He turned water into wine, so he's like a scientist, right? He's like a chemist. So 
what other miracles did Jesus do? Do you know what other miracles Jesus did? He rose from the dead. He rose from the dead. So he's like a magician, right? <laughs> what other miracles did Jesus do? Do you know what other miracles Jesus did? Yeah. So he's like a physician. So he can heal people. Do you know what other miracles Jesus did? Uh, he freed us from sin. He freed us from sin, so... He's a savior. So, Jesus did a bunch of miracles, right? So we can say that he is, he's a doctor, right? We could say that he's a teacher, right? We could say that he's like a chemist, right? When he turned the water into wine. We can say he's like a physician. We can say he's like a fisherman because he, he had the miraculous catch of fish. We can say he's like a baker or a chef because he, he uh, multiplied the loaves and the fishes. We can say Jesus is all this stuff, right? But who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? God. He's God. So who do you say that Jesus is today? That's what our gospel is. Who do we say it is? Is he some chef? Is he some physician? Is he some scientist? Is he a magician? No, he's... He's God. And, you know, who do we say that others are? So we say who Jesus is, right? We know who he is. He's not just a miracle worker like my mom is uh, saving that cake. But Jesus is God. So, so, so we know who Jesus is. We know who we say he is. But who do we say that others are? Or how do we say that others should be? Do we, do we speak kindly of them? Do we speak kindly of them? Do we always do that? Do we always speak nicely of other people? Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. And those moments that we do, it's awesome, right? That's what Jesus wants us. But when we don't speak nicely of other people, that's when we have to turn to God and ask for help. That's when we have to, that's when we have to, to uh, ask for, for God's intercession. That's where we have to encourage each other. You know, how many of you were at the football game last week? I uh, saw, saw the uh, Cardinals win their homecoming game. It was a great game. It was super, super awesome. And you know what, what happened during the game is the teammates, they encouraged each other. They had each other's back. They said, you can do it. Go. And Sacred Heart, that's, that can be like our goal. When, when, we, when we encourage each other, when we speak kindly of each other, we can do awesome things. We can do miracles just like my mom did, just like Jesus did. We can ask and we can help each other, I guess, is what I'm saying. We can help each other uh, to encourage each other to do great things, greater things than, than even my mom did saving that birthday cake. And I would invite us to stand for our intercessions. Please respond by saying, Lord, hear our prayer, that God will help our mothers and fathers make our homes happy and loving places. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will help all of us to make our Perish a loving and caring place, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will help us to be friendly and loving toward others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will, that God will help us to have a school year filled with faith, fun, and learning, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will help and guide the farmers as they begin their harvest season, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will hear all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, 
hear our prayer. We also lift up in prayer Arla and Steve Mendinger. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, open up our hearts, our minds to your great love and help us always to share this with others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I would now invite us to proceed as we prepare our altar and bring forward the gifts. Now invite us to stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Pius, so that as you brought him to glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as in the festival of St. Pius, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. 
And so with the company of angels and saints, we praise you. We sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
would now invite us to stand. And just a reminder again, Sacred Heart, today we are, we are singing the, the Our Father. So we're singing the Our Father. So at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say... Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Sacred Heart, let us offer each other a sign of peace. And again, if I could invite forward seven Eucharistic ministers. There are seven out there, uh, seven Eucharistic ministers. us all to be to kneel. So today, Sacred Heart, we're going to just have two chalices. Um, uh, so we'll just have one chalice over here and one chalice over here. Uh, just a reminder, just to take a small little sip, a small little sip if you, if you do want to receive the precious blood. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. Our communion song is Sun to Mercy and Rise of the Sea and the Wonder of the Holy
Let us pray. I invite us to stand. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed St. Pius, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a beautiful week, Sacred Heart. Uh, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life.